Izzy episode! I wonder if they're foreshadowing the eventual addition of another unicorn to the cast, but I'm just not sure. Either way, I like the characterization for Izzy here. Her voice is still off, but we're just going to have to get used to the fact that Kimiko Glenn was a one-time treat, and that at least for now, Anna Sani will not sound that good. It's sad, considering how good the voice actors were for G4 and even G3, but there is still time for them to improve in G5. But the character is written very well in this episode. Once again, we see just how lonely and out of touch with society Izzy is. I just feel bad for her. I love how Senor Butterscotch was terrifying and they actually played the jokes that way. I'm now seeing that this episode probably ties in to Make Your Mark in a small way as it gives some backdrop to Posey being unhappy with magic. Ooh, it would be way cool if they showed this same scene in Make Your Mark, but in the 3D style. That'd really tie the two shows together. Interestingly, bits look pretty much the same all these years later. It's interesting to note that the unicorns have a holiday celebrating friendship. Some fans have pointed this out as being inconsistent with their portrayal in the movie, but I have no problems with this. Every culture has multiple facets to it. Maybe TUES Day has been around since before the unicorns got depressed, before the war, for example, and fewer ponies celebrated now than when the holiday was first established. Overall, I enjoyed this episode. I think I'm going to start giving these episodes a ranking, and this one gets a solid 4 out of 5. Izzy's character comes through strong here, and the humor is kind of funny. That's all for now. Peace out.